Sisters of Christ, y'all know no matter what, I still got to do the word of the Lord. No matter what comes my way, y'all, I got to still be obedient. Um, the Lord keep telling me that the kingdom of God, that the kingdom of God is at, at, at hand, right? He said, let those who all understand the kingdom of God is at hand. And the Lord been having me with a lot of repentance. Telling people to repent, repent, repent. He gave me something today, right? He's talking about repent, repent, repent. And he said, let, the, uh, let all those who understand the kingdom of God is at hand. And he gave me something else. In the last video you seen, he told me that too. But as last night I was sleeping, it was just so much the Lord was confirming in me everything that he said. He said, don't be scared. Everything I said, it will come forth, right? He said, don't be scared. Everything I said will come forth. And he's saying, I told y'all something big coming for 2022, right? Y'all got to excuse me. But the Lord said, repent. What he bringing a lot of people, he said, every knee will bow and every mouth will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. So what he bringing in 2022 is all he have to do. He said he have to do it. Because people, as we keep going he said, people, repent for your sins. Allow me in. Repent for your sins. Allow me in. He said, the kingdom of God is at hand. Let those all who understand, the kingdom of God is at hand. like got me saying something like like the shoe like the shoe will be on foot right he said the shoe it's nothing new shoe on foot then he said neck so, shoes on neck or something, y'all? Let's see what the Lord... Something on neck. Shoe on neck. Let's see. He says, shoe on neck, y'all. Got a lot of stuff. Let's see what Psalm 60. Yeah, I said shoes on neck, so. He said shoes on neck, so. Just know God doing something, y'all. He said people will have to repent. 2022 going to be a year for, it's going to be repentance, y'all. He's going to let things happen for people to repent. He said every knee will bow. He said he's doing something big on the earth. And people will repent and they will bow. And then you know what? He said he's putting his shoe on next. His foot on next. Foot on next. Listen. Foot on next, y'all. Hold on. On next Bible verse. Let's see what foot on next. Look, y'all. He said in Psalms 1840, you place my foot on their necks, I have destroyed all who hated me. So he said, he just, he putting his foot on necks, y'all. On Psalms 1840. 
He, he said he put a foot on next on all who hate him. Y'all, God doing some things on this earth. And last night when I was drinking, when I, I was asleep, it was so much coming to me like he, what he said. It just, y'all. So, he said he put a foot on next, y'all. All who hate him. And he said 2022, he told me something big is coming. He said people will have to repent. Because he been having me saying, repent, repent, for the kingdom of God is at hand. And let's go to Mark 1, right? Let's read this, because I had this highlight. It said, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. So he had me with that this morning. Last night he gave me that, but I got up and I looked at the scripture. And it said, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. And believe in the gospel. So he said he put a foot on next, y'all. Then he gave me this about repentance. He said, 2022 going to be repent for your sins. People that don't, ain't willing to come to him, they're going to repent. He said, they're going to repent for their sins. Every knee, will, every knee will bow. And every mouth will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. He said, repent from your sins and allow him in. He said he's doing a mighty destruction on the earth. So 2022, he's he doing things that have people that are going to repent. They're going to bow. People ain't repenting, uh, they ain't repenting willingly, so he's going to force them to repent. So he's doing a lot of things on earth, yeah. He said Consequ consequences of sin, allow them in. And then he gave me right here, y'all, Amos 5. Let's read it, y'all. It's a call for repentance. For thus said the Lord of the house of Israel, Seek me and live. But do not seek Bethel, nor enter Gilead, Gilgal, nor pass over to Beersheba. For Gilead, Gilgal shall so surely go into captivity, and Bethel, and Bethel shall come, into, come to nothing. Seek the Lord and live, lest he break out like fire in the house of Joseph, and devour it with no one to quench it in Bethlehem. You who turn justice into wormwood. Wormwood, y'all. They got something about wormwood. Wormwood. Y'all, let's see what worm... I... Wormwood. I heard he, he talking about worm... wormwood, y'all. It said it will be a pure bitterness that will fill the earth during troubled times. That nothing that plant for a worm will its name. So troubled times, y'all. And it got wormwood in Revelations. That's why I said we seen wormwood again. Revelation 8. Let's go to Revelation 8, y'all. Because I remember he told me about wormwood. Revelation 18. Revelation. The third trumpet. Look, the third trumpet. Then the third angel sounded, and a great star fell from heaven, burning like a torch, and it fell on the third of the river of the springs of water. The name of the star is, is Wormwood. And a third of the water became wormwood, and many men died from the water because it was made bitter. So he's going to be releasing that. It came like third. Y'all, you who turned justice, and justice to wormwood and laid righteousness to rest in the earth. He made the plagidious in Orion. He turned the shadow of death into mourning. <laughs> Excuse me, y'all. He turned the shadow of death into morning and makes the day dark at night. See, and that's what the Lord was telling me. He said, he's telling me about the three days of darkness. Darkness going to be on the earth. He brought this to me last night. He said, three days of darkness. Darkness going to be on the earth, y'all. He doing all this in 2022. He calls for the water of the sea and pours them out on the face of the earth. The Lord is his name. He reigns 
he rains ruin upon the strong. So that fury comes comes upon the fortress. They hate the one who rebukes in the gates, and they arbor the one who speaks uprightly. Therefore, because you tread down the poor and take grain taxes from them, so to the Lord said, look, taxes from them. Remember the Lord said with the evil counsels. With the governors and stuff. And he told us too. He's going to do a destruction with them too on the earth. And take grain taxes from them. Though you have built houses of hewn strong stone. Yet you shall not dwell in them. You have planted pleasant vineyards. But you shall not drink wine from them. For I know your man, man, manifold, manifold transgressions. And your mighty sins. Afflicted. The just and the and taking bribes, diverting the poor from justice at the gate. Therefore, the prudent keep silent at the time, for it is an evil time. Seek good and not evil. That's what God said, destroying the people, that they may live. So the Lord God of hosts will be with you, as you have spoken. Hate evil, love good. Establish justice in the gate. It may be that the Lord God, Lord God of hosts will be gracious to the remnant of Joseph. Therefore, the Lord comes of a host of the Lord, saying, There shall be welling in the streets. And you know, he had told me too when I was laying down, he said, The bloody streets, the bloody cities. Bloody cities. Let's see, y'all. There shall be welling in the streets, and they shall say in all the highways. At last, at last, they shall call the farmer to mourning, and skillful lamentations were welling. In all vineyards, they shall be welling, for I will pass through you, said the Lord. The Lord, woe to you who desire the day of the Lord, for what good is the day of the Lord to you? I will bring, look, it will be darkness and no light. No, the Lord told me three days of darkness. It will be as though a man fled from a lion. And a bear met him, or as though he went into the house, leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Is not the day of the Lord darkness and not light? Is it look, hold on. Is it is not the day of the Lord darkness and not light? Is it not very dark with no brightness, no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feast days. No, he gave me something else about feast. He'll bring it to, to me because he has to show me something about a feast. We'll go back to that, y'all, when he bring it back to me. I messed up my page. Um, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I do not savor you sacred assemblies. Though you offer me burnt offering and a grain offering, I will not accept them, nor will I <laughs> regard your flattered peace offering. Take away from me the noise of your son, your songs, for I will not bear the melody of your strings instruments. But let justice run down like water and righteous like the mighty stream. Did you offer me sacrifices and offering in the wilderness forty years, O house of Israel? You also carried scripture. I don't know what that is. Scripture, scripture, your king. And chill your idols, the star of your gods, which you made for yourself. Therefore, I will send you into captivity beyond the markets, says the, uh, the Lord, whose name is God of hosts. That's the Lord said it. And he gave me something about a feast. Y'all, I have missed my page up. He has said something about a feast. He had turned me to something about the feast. And I messed my face. Oh, here it go. Keeping the feast. Let's see what it says. And he said the feast. Let's go to Ezekiel 45. Let's see what it said about the feast right here, y'all. Because I hate, I despise your feast days. And I do not savor your sac sacred assembly, feast days. And he had right here keeping a feast. It says, moreover, moreover, when you divide the land, 
By lot and inheritance, you shall set apart a district for the Lord, a holy section of the Lord of the land. Its length shall be twenty-five thousand cubits, and the width of it's the holy place. You shall appoint the property of the city. <coughs> Y'all got a student. Okay, let me see where you want me to go to right here. Thus says the Lord of God, enough, O princes of Israel, move violence and plunder. Here we go. Thus says said the Lord of God, enough, O prince of Israel, remove violence and plundering, execute justice and righteous, righteousness, and stop disposing my people. Said the Lord God, you should have host. I mean, you should have hot, honest scales and honest even, and it is honest path. Yeah, I just know God, God say, this is keeping a feast. But I know also, I'm going to put the description at the bottom, y'all. I'm trying to hang in there because, you know, I'm trying to fight this, whatever, trying to come over me and I know I'm healed in Jesus' name. But the feast, this is what he said right here. I hate and I despise your feast days. So he hate and despise our feast days and he had us keeping a feast. You should have honest scales and honest ephon and honest bath. So... Remove violence and plunder and execute justice and righteousness. That's what he said in um, keeping a feast. So people, they, 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 they remove violence and plunder and execute justice. So he said people ain't doing what they're supposed to do. And that's how you have to keep the feast. Remove violence and stuff. And they kept, people said they're doing what they're doing. So y'all, I just had to give y'all this word real quick. And the Lord said, he said, me, the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Take me back to, I think that was Mark, y'all. You take me back to Mark. Repent. So 2022 going to be repentance time, y'all. God doing some things. People ain't listening. He said every knee will bow and every mouth will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior. So I have to do, I have to still give the word of the Lord, y'all, no matter what I face. I still got to do his work, y'all. But he's saying, here we go, Mark. The, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. And he told us about repentance, y'all. Call to repent in Amos. I'm going to put the descriptions at the bottom, y'all. Just know God said in 2022, people every knee were bound their mouth would confess, and he said he put, he put his feet on necks. All those who hate him. Then he talking about over here with the text. People getting on folks' text. With God doing, he, he just trying a lot of things, y'all. All is not of the Lord. He said, believe in the gospel. Repent and believe in the gospel. Y'all, I'll be back with y'all. Just know that God's saying, things will, never be, things will never be the same. Worship his holy name. The kingdom of God. And then he took us to that trumpet about wormwood. About the water. So I got to put that back in there, y'all. So he's at my wood, And that's a trumpet. He already said he releasing a seal and a trumpet. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. No, everything will not be, remain the same. Worship his holy name. Y'all be blessed.